Hello everyone. Hello beautiful family. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to our page. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're doing well. Yes, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you what to be doing if you always find yourself eating at night. You find yourself, you always eat at night and the uh, the more you try to stop eating at night, is it look as if it's not working. Now, let me tell you, you have to do monitoring mirror because when you are always eating at night, they are monitoring you. They are monitoring you day and night. And some people will say whenever they have project, they have interview to do, immediately they want to do it. They will have a particular dream that they are eating at night. At, in their dream, immediately they eat in their dream. When they wake up, everything will just scatter. Everything will just scatter. They don't have anything again to do. Mommy, get me my lippy fire. They don't have anything to do. In fact, it's like all hope is gone. Once they have that dream, eh, if I they've given up, my dear, there are some things to do to stop eating in the dream because. That food you are eating in the dream is not a good thing. It's not really a good thing. It's full to cost you miscarriage. Full to cost you disappointment. Full to cost you hatred. Full to cost you setback. Those are not good food though. Some of them are wasted from the cutter. Some of them are pieces. You know, when the Lord took me to their the, the, the witchcraft kitchen where they prepare their food. People that cook their food are, are spirits, dead spirits, dead human beings that cook the food. And what they call is food is not food. If it is real food, you will not have problem. That is why after eating it, you have problem. Some of them are put in the dream and they're having moving objects. They can initiate into witchcraft, into marine through eating in the dream. They can get you. They can target your future. So you want to stop eating in the dream. All right. You will be doing this simple recipe to help yourself. Remember, all power belongs to God. Hi, everyone. Hi, beautiful family. Welcome back to my page. My name is Mama Shora Solution. Mama, please. In this, my page, you are welcome. You are welcome to home of peace. You are welcome to home of prosperity. You are welcome to home of joy and assurance covers you. This is our Odeshi. This is our Odeshi liquefier. Origina product, original company that produces liquefiers assurance solution. This is our Odeshi liquefier. This liquefier, don't joke with it because it works like magic, but it's not magic, it's miracle. So before you go to bed, if you are the type that usually um, eat at night, get me one onions, red onions. When you get the onions, boil the onions. If you can, if you cannot, just cut three pieces of the onion. Just cut it like into three in your bathing water. Pour enough hot water to eat and add salt with garlic to eat. That's why I say boil. So it's better you boil the onions and garlic together. So if you cannot boil it together, just get the onions, cut the onions, cut garlic, put salt and pour hot water. Leave it for 30 minutes so that they will move together. Okay. Another thing again that if you have, if you have this my liquid fire, shake it very well, drop it inside that water you're going to take to bath. This is the power to defeat the enemy. Power that we enter you that when they brought the food to eat, you resist the food. You command the person that brought the food yeah, eat your food. That is a very power. And it's not everybody that carries that grace. Another oil would have given you again is back to send that oil or attack my attacker oil. Attack my enemies oil. Okay. Yes, so we get all this oil from me. Then you drop it inside. But if you don't have this oil, go to your kitchen. Get your own red oil. Drop a tiny drop inside that water. Then pray seriously 
with that water with Psalm 35 and 91. Now, some of you, you just lay your hand on that water and decree with decrease Psalm 35 inside that water, decrease Psalm 91 inside that water. After praying, pour that water on your body, pour it on your body, pour it on your body. When you are painting, just say, I receive grace, I receive victory over any attack of eating in the tree. Oh Lord God, give me victory over this attack. Over any attack that will come to my dream again, as eating or as sex in the dream, give me victory over there. Make me powerful and stronger than my enemies, okay? Then you pour the water on your body. After taking your bath with that water, please remember to bless God. Get two, then two pieces of garlic, whether peel or no peel, okay? Use something to tie them together. Put it under your pillow. Then go to your red oil. Shake it very well. Take three spoon after three spoon, you can sleep. Even if you are married, it doesn't stop you not to have intimacy with your husband after this recipe. Even if you are in your period, it does not stop you not to do that. Okay, like I said, the time of your period is the time of deliverance. It's the time you break some yoke out of your life. Okay, then sleep and believe God that you will not eat in the dream. Believe God that you will, you will succeed in that dream. Then if you dream that you ate in the dream, as you wake up, you're going to place your right hand on your head and say, I decree by the power in the blood of Jesus. I go back to my dream and I feed my enemy what I've eaten and I vomit whatever I've eaten. We just do like this. Ha, ha, ha. Everything I've eaten, I vomited. You just put your, after you don't mean, go back to your sleep. If the day has not yet broken, go back to your sleep. If you do like me, if you can behave like me, you will, the dream will continue. You will permit everything you are eating and you will feed the person that has been giving you the food back. That is final. But should in case the day is, the day is already daytime, you can't go back to your sleep. Or you go back to your sleep, sleep nothing happens. When you wake up in the morning, just rush to your toilet. Ha! I vomit. Pick that seven times. That food, that meat, that disappointment of eating in the dream. That stagna stagnation of eating the dream. That miscarriage of eating. Ha! I vomit them. You vomit them by spitting out seven times. Okay. Then get to your kitchen. Get three pieces of onions. As I eat these onions, a parapenture, there's anything that I've eaten in the dream that would have. Terminate my appointment today. That I would have scattered my blessing today. I will pass it out through my urine, through my sweat, through my toilet in Jesus' name. They chop the raw onions. When you want to bath that money, make sure you bath with garlic, salt, and hot water. And add your urine to it. It does not necessarily whether it's money urine or not. Add your urine to it and declare that that day blessing must come to pass. That that day favor must come to pass. That no power, no Jupiter, no spirit that did not create you can stop your blessing of that day. And continue doing this thing before you know the devil himself will run away from you. Those powers himself, they will leave you alone. And your dream will be perfect. You will not see those nonsense again. Thank you for watching. Bye.